And then we also for a by people like Chris Cole and the Dr. McBride. Fresh or milk, it just tastes better than all flavor. It's just not saying we do it for you. Make sure you're getting the best milk you can buy. Purity milk, on sale now at your favorite store. defensive offsides, but the officials are going to converge and we shall see whether or not it was an offensive movement or the defense in the neutral zone. Offside. 93 to defense. Cause the offensive ball start. By your penalty, third down. That's big Cornelius Henderson. He's 6'3", 304. If he gets in the neutral zone, somebody's going to notice. You're not going to miss him. Nope. <laughs> So it's going to be third and four from the 41-yard line. So the Raiders in a much more manageable down and distance here. Stocks go back to throw, has some pressure, dumps it out, got a man. Big play here, 45-50, Matisse, 45-40, cuts back to the middle, down to the 31-yard line. Boy, it was late developing, but when you when it was when the throw was made, you said, "Oh boy, that was perfect." They had a bunch of trips over the right side, brought Matisse across the formation. Great throw, big play. Kwame Bowens makes the stop as the Raiders pick up 29 and move it down to the plus 31. Hand off up the middle, Shane Tucker, 30, down to the 27, 26-yard line. First carry of the game for Shane Tucker, and Javancy Jones makes the stop there. Gain of five, second and five, stop for fumbles the ball, throws it out, and it's going to be incomplete. Fumble snap. From the 26-yard line, Richie James was the intended receiver. And it will be third and five. With the ball at the 26-yard line. Tucker, the running back, stands off the left hip of Stockton. And goes to the line, and the play comes in from the sideline. Now they'll flip Tucker to the right side of the formation on third and five. Handoff here, Tucker, up the middle, spins his way to a first down inside the 20. Down to the 19-yard line, a gain of seven. First and 10 as Taylor Washington makes the stop, and the Raiders at the 18-yard line after the spot are inside the Roscoe Brown blue zone. Option play left. They get it out. Inside the 20. It's James to the 10. James to the 5. James to the 2-yard line. Stacy Noble, the linebacker, made the touchdown saving tackle. And Richie James has already had his hands on the ball for two big plays. It's first and goal at the 2. Pistol set. Stocksville waits on the snap. Gets it. Hands it off to Shane Tucker. Lowers his head. Gets down and a fumble. The Raiders get back on it at the two-yard line. I think Pettis. Nope. It's going to be Christian Collis who got back on it, but it was Tucker who had the ball squirt loose. And we have an injured Jackson State Tiger in the end zone. Today's game brought to you in part by the new Student Success Advantage Program. Graduate in four and you'll get more. Guaranteed scholarship to transfer students with a 3-0 or better. Finish line scholarship gives you back any tuition increases throughout your stay. We'll help you graduate in four years. We're investing in your success with the MTSU Student Success Advantage. We're working on the injured player right now. It is Javancy Jones. And he is up on, he was laying flat on the ground. He's up now. 
I want to remind you the Mr. B's three minute express car wash inbox is open already. Have a couple of emails tonight. Greg Smith and Attack Dog, the Jaws of Justice of Clarksville, Tennessee, checking in this evening at radio at GoBlueRaiders.com. Stu True Blue Todd over in Bentonville, Arkansas, and the aforementioned Aussie putter, Sean O'Kane, listening at 9 a.m. <laughs> down under. That's 9 a.m. tomorrow morning. He was also always a visionary guy, but he was living in the future. 9 a.m. <laughs> Sunday morning. Sean O'Kane, what a great guy. We miss him and his terrific personality. But the Raiders have it second and goal now at the two-yard line. Pistol set again. Heavy set to the left. They'll roll right. Throw the end back of the end zone. Hook for the touchdown. Lucas Hamilton. On the receiving end, and the Red Sox will touch down. Great play call, good leg out to the right. They brought Pettis again from the left side over to the right. Hamilton lined up on the right at the beginning of the play. They both came at two different levels. Defender saw Pettis came up, that opened up Hamilton. Great throw, great play call, great execution. Everything about that play made you think it was going left. Yep, exactly. It's good misdirection. Utilize, you know, when you've got a fast defense, you got to utilize those types of plays. Cody Clark in for the PAT. Last season, 46 of 46. Here's the snap and the kick. And Cody Clark is now 93 of 93 in his career. Middle Tennessee now leads it 7 to nothing over Jackson State. Time out on the field. Back after this from Learfield Sports and the Blue Raider Network. People always ask, Bob, why do you love the Blue Raiders so much? Maybe it's a face painter where to work, or because my dog has his own Blue Raider jersey. But I think it's my new Blue Raiders Visa debit card from First Tennessee Bank. Purchases are crazy easy. I swipe and the money comes out of my account. Do I love it? Yeah, you could say I'm a card carrying fanatic. I'm sure the world that you're a card carrying fanatic. Stop by a financial center and get your Blue Raider debit card today. An $8 issue if you apply. Visit mtv.com slash Blue Raider to learn more. Get 0% financing for 72 months for qualified buyers on every 2015 car, SUV, and truck. Plus 1,000 bonus cash on cars and SUVs. Not all buyers will qualify for four credit financing. 72 months at $13.89 per month. For 1,000 finance regardless of down payment. Bonus cash on 2015 cars and SUVs requires four credit financing. Not available on 2015 Transit Transit Connect E-Series, Super Duty, F-150, Raptor, and Mustang Specialty Models. Take new retail delivery from dealer stock by 9815. See dealer for qualifications and complete details. Think of all the times in the day someone in your family opens the fridge. There's your husband and his pre-dinner snack, your daughter and her organic berries, and that's just the beginning. Well, when you shop at Kroger, you know you're getting great food for everyone, including local dairy products, exceptional meat and seafood, and organic produce. With all the low prices, you'll save money, too. So when they open that fridge, Kroger can help you make sure they'll find something great. Great food, low prices, at Kroger. It's time for you to come home when Blue Raiders ride into homecoming 2015 on October 3rd. Alumni and friends watch the parade and stay at the tailgate lunch at Mixer on Main on the President's Lawn before your Blue Raiders host Vanderbilt for the first time in 95 years. Whether you've been gone five months or are a Golden Raider who graduated 50 years ago, check out mtalumni.com to make your plans to join us for homecoming on October 3rd. You can also follow us on Facebook and Twitter. News Radio WGNS, your Blue Raider connection. Here's a Williams Foot Center kickoff. This one taken five yards deep in the end zone off the talented toe of Cannon Rooker. And a, another touchback, two out of two. And that is the best defense against a kickoff return that there is, and that's putting it through the end zone. Yeah, absolutely. You've got to love that when you got a guy that can put it in the end zone. Uh, it just takes away that factor of return kicks and big plays and put, a, put the offense in a good field position. Today's game brought to you in part by the Tennessee Lottery. You can win a trip to Vegas by entering non-winning tickets for a second chance drawing. You can find out more at tnlottery.com. First and 10 for Jackson State at their own 25-yard line. Levante has Ivy with two running backs, two wide outs to the left, one to the right. Hand off here on the running play. No fake the run and a short hop on the intended catch by Dan Williams at the 30. Incomplete. It will be second down and 10 at the 25-yard line. 
Yeah, the Montez just didn't have enough on it there. He had a guy open for about a five-yard gain, just couldn't get the ball out to him. Second down, 10. Little Tennessee again, nine plays, 65 yards, 219 off the clock. As Jackson State has it here, second and 10. Ivy has some time, throws it out there, caught on a comeback by Williams. He gets it up to the 30 and up into there by Singletary at about the 31, 32 yard line. So a gain of six or seven, depending on the spot. And it will be a right footed spot at the 32. So third down and three. So far, Jackson State 0 for 2. Ivy throws it out there. It's caught by the big tight end. And he is not going to have a first down, or is he? It's going to be very close. That's going to be very, very close. Great conversion on the ball for the defense there. They're probably going to have to measure this. Big Stedman Kapler, 5'11", 250, the fullback, <laughs> made the stop. They're going to mark it a bit short, it appears. It's going to be fourth and less than a yard. Officially at the 34, but it's really about 34, 2 feet, and 10 inches. <laughs> Big play, Frank. It looks like they're going to think about it. They're going to let the clock run down, 519. And the clock stopped there, and a timeout on the field. Let's see if we get a media break with it. Or are they going to review this? It appears there may be a review. The previous play is under review. Let's take a timeout. Is it the line of game was not reached? Timeout. Let's take a time out back after this from the Blue Raider Network. You're listening to Learfield Sports. Okay, you look really happy right now. Dude, last week I bought six fountain drinks at Thornton's, and today my drink was free thanks to Frequency, where they reward you for buying promoted items with refreshing rewards. Ah, so you got free rewarded for your loyalty. Then I was free styling all the way to work with my Frequency free award. And now you're free relentless, and getting free rewarded has made you free think. Okay. <laughs> With Frequency at Thornton's, loyalty pays. Use refreshing rewards to buy the 11 Frequency promoted items and get more of what you love for free. Smile, this one's on us. Bud Light, the perfect beer for whatever happens, has created the perfect bottle for whatever happens. The Bud Light Cool Twist of Aluminum Bottle. It's made of 100% chill holding aluminum, so you know it's gold. It's tall and sleek, so it's refreshing. And here comes a twist. It's reclosable, so you know it's always up for whatever. The Bud Light Cool Twist Aluminum Bottle. Enjoy responsibly. Bud Light Beer, and has a gross St. Louis, Missouri. For 75 years, the name of my great-grandfather, Roscoe Brown, has been a symbol of customer service, integrity, and trusted experts in the heating, cooling, and plumbing business. We're a part of this community, and like you, we're proud to support MTSU and our Blue Raiders on and off the field. If your bloodline is blue, we'll see you at Ford Stadium. If your fingers are turning blue, give Roscoe Brown a call. 888-MY-ROSCOE. Roscoe Brown. Trusted for 75 years. RoscoeBrown.com. Can you hear that? That's the sound of sirloin. It says a mouth-watering meal is right around the corner. And as soon the sizzle will stop, dinner will be served. And this dinner is even better than the sizzle. Delicious. Nutritious. Above all else, beef. It's what's for dinner. Sponsored by Tennessee's Cattle Farm Families and the Beef Checkoff. was upheld. It was short of the line to gain. Williamson with a left-footed punt. It will take a bounce at the 31. Raiders back away and it will be down inside the 25 at the 22-yard line. That'll be 44 yards on the punt and there is immediate timeout. We'll take it as well. 4.53 left in the quarter. Middle seven. Jackson State nothing. Back after this from the Blue Raider Network in Learfield Sports. Are you driving around in a state of doubt, wondering how your car insurance will really take care of you? I'm State Farm Agent Andy Womack. Let me get you to a better state, a state of confidence that the coverage you've been driving around with is actually driven by your home.
These not only help kids stay healthy, they can enhance important skills like concentration and problem solving, which can improve academic performance. Help your kids in the most important game of all, life. Learn more at fitness.gov. Brought to you by AT Trust. Today's game is being brought to you by Pepsi and Pepsi Cola Bottle. Pepsi is the exclusive soft drink provider for Blue Raider Athletics and the Middle Tennessee campus. Pepsi is a proud partner of MTSU and Blue Raider Athletics. Today's game is brought to you in part by Ford of Murfreesboro. Their mission is to provide a great selection of new and used vehicles as well as a certified service department. Ford of Murfreesboro, 1550 Northwest Broad Street and online at FordofMurfreesboro.com. Do you think carrying 10 or 20 pounds of extra weight isn't much? We went to a park and in 10 or 20 pound sandbags to people aged 45 to 60 and asked if we could follow them around. 10 pounds makes a big difference. There's a lot of extra weight to carry around. And what about back hurts? A few extra pounds each year can cause joint pain and lead to serious chronic diseases like diabetes and heart disease. Wouldn't you like to drop that weight and stop picking up more? Visit hhs.gov slash one pound at a time to find out. Obesity happens one pound at a time, so it's preventing. Brought to you by HHS and NIH. Pick up three on a jet sweep down on second and seven. Throw long and ball, what a catch! By Matisse at the 48 yard line. And a flag back at the 24. This could be an offensive holding call that could take away a sports center highlight. Yeah, that was a heck of a throw. Great position by Matisse. Okay, he wasn't about. Running the back. Number 93 in the defense. 15 yard penalty added to the end of the run. If the Chiefs kind of came out of nowhere, then so the Raiders that will not bring it back. That'll add 15 on to the to the catch from the 26. That was a 26-yard reception. Then add 15 more on it. So that's a 41-yard play. In all for all intents and purposes, it's now first and ten at the plus 33-yard line and middle. Getting deep into Jackson State territory again, leading 7-0 here in the first quarter. 4.15 remaining. Running back is Parker. Stocksville hands it off. Parker bends it back, spins, and falls forward after a yard gain. Brandon Smith, the free safety, on the stop as Miller moves it down to the 32-yard line. It's second down and nine. Yeah, Parker didn't have anywhere to go, where it started to the right. He read the linebacker, the linebacker over the and he cut back. No, nothing there for him to go to. Pistol set again. Wide out to either side, man of the slot on the right side. Again, they go to the sideline to get the play. Brent Stockton gets it. Broad play on a handoff. Parker tries to bounce it outside. Gets it across the 30 on second effort. Down to the 29-yard line. It will be third and six. And again, Brandon Smith, the free safety, is called on to make the play. Raiders back to the line quickly. No huddle on third and six. And again, they get back to the line. And then, just to hold the defense there, and then get the play in. But yeah. they're not allowing any substitutions. Right. Here we go. Third and six from the third. Stops the back to throw. The left throws it out there. Caught by the piece of the 20. Cuts it inside. Back to the 15. The piece to the 11 and out of bounds. 18-yard pickup. Stacey Bogum and Brandon Smith on the coverage for Jackson State. First and 10 at the 11. And Jeremiah Bryson in for the first time tonight. 245 left in the quarter. By staff and pulled in by Stocks and hands it off to Bryson inside the five. And he's down there, but Jeremiah Bryson, who finished last season strong and had a great spring, well, they'll mark it at the five and a half yard line, a gain of five, second down and five at the six. Great run by Bryson. I he, whoever made contact with him there first, they felt that he came down real hard. Timeout out call Jackson State, 2-16, left to go here in quarter number one. Middle Tennessee leading by a 7 to nothing score. I want to remind you, if you downloaded the new Blue Raiders game day app, if you have it, why not do it right now as you're listening? It's available free from the Apple Store or the Google Play Store. Just search Middle Tennessee Blue Raiders. Whether you're an Android or an iPhone user, 
It's your one-stop Blue Raider info on your mobile device, mobile device presented by Polar Focus Pro. George found out. Both teams got to huddle up. Some of you are listening live tonight on the internet and on the app. Ryan and Jill Simmons in Willard, Missouri. Daniel Hanifer in Dallas. Lisa Don Stevens listening in the Virgin Islands tonight. Tony Bunner in Strawberry Plains. Bob Ballard in Aspen, Colorado. Glad to have you all with us tonight on the Blue Raider Network. Second and five at the six, handoff on the pistol, left side Bryson, cuts it up and upended for a man and a yard, yard and a half, just inside the five-yard line. Smith and Jones, alias of Smith and Jones on the track. That would be Brandon Smith and Jancy Jones. Yeah, Jones made a pretty good play there. Got off the block, came up and made a pretty good tackle. Third and three at the four. Raiders can get a post down inside the one. Is with wide out either side. They're going to pull back in the slot and a slot receiver to the right. They've also got a running back. Now stop it. Goes it out in the slot. The piece cuts down. Well, the inside screen. The piece came right back. Great defense on the inside. Great play. No great screen to the piece. Great block on the inside receiver there. Got to the guy that was on the piece. Had it wide open. Great time and great throw by Brent Stockton. Josh Chester made the block that's yeah. won the play. Yeah, that was a huge block by Chester. So Brent Stockton gets his second touchdown pass in the quarter. And the Raiders lead 13-0 over Jackson State. And middle is a man short on the extra point team. And they send a man out. Late. Cody Clark on the point after. It's up and it is good. 125 left to go in the first quarter of play. Your new score, Middle Tennessee 14 and Jackson State nothing. Well, the Raiders there go 77 yards on their second scoring drive of the night. Eight plays, 328 off the clock, and you've seen Brent Stocks go down, direct two scoring drops. What impresses you? I don't, what I like so far is his accuracy. He's been able to put the ball right where it needs to be, right at the t- between the defenders, and only put it in a place where the receiver can get it. And again, his timing has been awesome. He knows exactly when to throw it, and, and that's for uh, his first start, first game of the season. That's impressive because that takes a lot of time normally to get that down between a receiver and a quarterback. Got a couple of other emails. Chad Knowles in Cedartown, Georgia. John Cipriano down in Orange Beach. Good place to be this weekend. Kelly and Howard Forrest in San Juan Capistrano, California. All listening on GoBlueRaiders.com and on the Blue Raider Game Day app. William Smith Care Center kickoff into the end zone and this will be come out of there. Bingham it's across the 10 to the 11, 12 yard line and a poor choice by Bingham who brought it from five yards deep in the end zone and for the Blue Raiders it was fullback Corey McCarron who got down there and made the play but the Raider kickoff team uh, the coverage team did a good job there. Yeah, a great job for the kickoff team being disciplined. And even though he was four or five yards deep in the end zone, they continued to pursue downfield and made a big play and gave Jackson State some pretty poor field position to start this drive. First and 10 at their own 12-yard line. And it is Ivy, the quarterback. Ivy swings it out to the near side. Hawks, nope, incomplete. Intended for... Devin Fosselman, the senior from Woodville, Mississippi. It will be second and ten. So there's a quick pass out to the right, and Walter came off the edge, did a great job of getting his hands up and disrupting that pass. Second and ten of the twelve. And out here, to Johnson moves it up to about the 15, 16-yard line. 
with the defense playing through the whistle as they pick up four. And for the Raiders, Raynard Felton and Darius Harris, they back up to the linebacker. Preston from Fort Worth, Mississippi. Just down the middle. Third down and six. Back in state, they have to convert on third down. Back in low and high, they can play to the back side. Step up, throws it out there. Park for first down and more. It's possible. Bump across the 35 to the 37, 38 yard line. Moves it across the 40, and from there, Jackson State will move the chains. There was a puzzle at the end of the play by Fossilman, and a flag is back at the 13-yard line. Walker made the tackle, knocked the ball loose, and Williams recovered. And here's the play. Hold it. 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 seconds to go here in the first half, first quarter, I should say, as this crowd is settled in, and I have to say, an outstanding, stupid crowd here tonight. Absolutely impressive. Thank you to all of them that came out tonight. It's been a great crowd. A huge stupid crowd across the way. But here it's third and 15. Back to throw his eye, and he'll tuck it, he'll try to run, goes for the sideline, he's been converted, done, and Knocked out of bounds at the 14-yard line. They moved the pass to the 8. He's out of bounds at the 14. So it is now 4 and 6. No 4 and 8. Great coverage there by the Raiders downfield. That's something that we talked about. They struggled a little bit last year. But they did a very good job. They were forcing the run. He just had nowhere to go. Sodexo Concessions. Sodexo Concessions strives to provide high-quality concession items at friendly service at all Middle Tennessee athletic venues. Sodexo Concessions, a proud partner of Blue Raider Athletics. We all play a role in keeping our community safe. Every day, we move in and out of each other's busy lives. It's easy to take for granted all the little moments that make up our everyday. Some are good, others 
not so much. This was something that is seen quite right. That is time to pay attention. Because only you know. It's not supposed to be in your everyday. So protect your everyday. If you see something suspicious, say something to your police officers. Support for MTSU Athletics provided by the Tennessee Education Lottery, which has raised more than $1 billion for higher education across the state of Tennessee. Last year, over 75,000 students received assistance through lottery proceeds. More information available at tnlottery.com. The Governor's Highway Safety Office is a proud sponsor of MTSU Athletics. The GHSO's mission is to develop, execute, and evaluate programs to reduce the number of fatalities, injuries, and related losses from traffic crashes on Tennessee roadways. You're watching your favorite TV show, and something important is about to happen. Your phone rings. What do you do? You can't pay attention to both. The same thing happens when you talk on the phone while driving. You stop noticing things, like slowing cars or a light turning red. No call or text is worth a life. Remember, when you're on the road, stay off the phone. Learn more at nsc.org. A public service from the National Safety Council. Coming up 
at the plus 48. But a great catch by Fossum. Yeah, I'll tell you what, not much you knew there defensively. Byer was in great position. That was a phenomenal throw and catch. Ivy had some pressure. Throws. Pop. Big play coming here. Chugging down the sideline as Dan Williams gets inside the 10. And they put it over the linebacker and in front of the corner. And it's Jeremy Cottrell who finally chased him down at the six-yard line. But a 42-yard pickup, first and goal. Yeah, Cottrell, that's where his aggressiveness nature is going to kind of get him in trouble as a stop and go. And he just let the receiver get behind him. 14-0 Middle Tennessee, but Jackson State, first and goal at the Blue Raiders six-yard line. Ivy. Looks over the middle, throw, and incomplete. Intended for Bolson. Jared Singletary back there defending. The intended receivers, we said, Will Bolson, 6'4", 205, senior wideout. Good-looking receiver, but it's now second goal. Yeah, he, he absolutely has the body, and that's what they try to do there. Utilize his height to try to throw it high and back in the end zone. Lamontiez Ivy for 3,200 yards and 22 touchdowns last year. So he knows what he's doing in this situation. Ivy rolls to the right. Throws out there. Caught and Mole will be down inside the three near the two. Jared Singletary locked him up when he had to go jump ball to make the catch. Another great job by the defensive front there to get some pressure on it. You got to make the play. Gain of four, third and goal at the two-yard line. Running back is Jarius Moore. Back to throw Ivy. Throws it. Caught. Touchdown. It's Moe, Jarius Moe, who makes the catch and gets the six. Yeah, you look there. There's a little bit of a short crossing route. Jackson State could have gotten away with the pick there, but uh, ultimately that defender's got to get over the top of that next play. So, Jairus Moll gets the touchdown. Ryan, Ryan Beeson out to the corner with 12 and 11 to get in the first half. The snap and the kick is up and good. The Apple Network Sports. The Apple's Pizza is the official pizza provider of MCSU Athletics, offering pizza, crazy bread, fresh oven baked sandwiches, wings, and more. Marcos Pizza, 615-895-9755, or online at marcos.com. MCSU Athletics is brought to you in part by Purity Bearers, bringing you dairy products since 1926 and setting the standard for dairy products. For more information, you can visit purityberries.com. MCSU on the web, an informal conversation about people, events, and ideas, what's happening in and out of the college classroom, and expert analysis of today's most pressing issues. We connect you with the campus community each Monday at 5.30 p.m. and Sunday at 8 a.m. I'm your host, Jenna Lowe. Please join me for MTSU on the Record on WMOT 89.5, Middle Tennessee Public Radio. Today's game is brought to you in part by Ford of Murfreesboro. Their mission is to provide a great selection of new and used vehicles as well as a certified service department. Ford of Murfreesboro, 1550 Northwest Broad Street, and all the way to FordofMurfreesboro.com. Today's game is brought to you in part by the Murfreesboro Post newspaper. The Murfreesboro Post is printed twice weekly on Thursdays and Sundays. The Murfreesboro Post provides a voice for local news, sports, business, and lifestyles online at MurfreesboroPost.com. If you're like most people, you rely on a wide variety of sources for the news of the day. I'm John Hockenberry, and on the takeaway, we draw on our partners in the time, the WGA, the Boston Public Radio folks, and experts from around the country that you can better understand the world. So listen to all the sources that each weekend on the takeaway from the PRI and the Radio International. This is the takeaway each week for morning at 8 on WMOT. Goes 69 yards on seven plays and sets the lead to 14-7. 
The GHSO's mission is to develop, execute, and evaluate programs to reduce the number of fatalities, injuries, and related losses from traffic crashes on Tennessee roadways. I'm Marco Werner. Your eyes the world brings me more than just the great news. Well, the Pearl British Pub has been around for 2,000 years. We introduce you to people around the globe. I'm a Liberian, but I'm an African. If we were only, only in Argentina. I think it's a Scottish thing, you know? This sense of doom there, but it's always kind of amusing to us. Join us and hear the world. Each weekday afternoon at 5 on Middle Tennessee Public Radio. NTSU Athletics is brought to you in part by Anheuser-Busch, brewers of Budweiser, Bud Light, Michelob, and Bush beers. Anheuser-Busch supports the response teams of its product. Marco's Pizza is the official pizza provider for NTSU Athletics, offering pizza, crazy bread, fresh oven baked sandwiches, wings, and more. Marco's Pizza, 615-895-9755, or online, marcos.com. Hi, this is Steve Inskew. When you roll out of bed, bleary-eyed and groggy, if you're like me, the first thing on your mind is getting something to wake you up. So, turn on the radio. <laughs> NPR's daily news program, Morning Edition, has been working through the night to give you the news you need. It's as essential to your morning as it is up the top. So hit the ground running by listening to Morning Edition from NPR News. Weekday mornings from 7 to 8 on WMOT. October 3rd when the Raiders host Vanderbilt, the Lindy and Prince make plans for the mixer on Main. New location this year on the President's Lawn. Whether you've been gone five months for 50 years and are a Golden Raider, homecoming is for you. Check out more at mtalumni.com. Cannon Whippers kickoff, taken by Bingham at the five. He's going to be up in it at the ten. On the coverage, Darius Harris. And the Raiders have had two incredibly good kickoff covers here on the last two that have come off Whipper's toe. Yeah, he said it. That was an incredible open field tackle. And those are tough early on in the season because you're not used to getting, you know, playing full speed. That was a great, great play. First down. They're going to mark it at the 10-yard line for Jackson State. Lamontez Ivy now finds himself in a two-touchdown hole for the second time tonight. Got some pressure, throws it over the middle. It's caught for about a four or five-yard gain. Fossilman on the catch. Cabela's Luckett on the stop. They're going to give him five yards up to the 15. And it will be second down and five there. Ivy sets his team down with 8.58 to go in the first half, 21-7. Blue Raiders with a 14-point advantage. Back to throw. Ivy gets some pressure, throws it out there on a slant. Caught. Fossilman almost stepped through a tackle and does. Gets up to midfield, and the Raiders have to change him down. It's Cabellus Luckett who was able to do it. 35 yards and a first down there as we have seen Ivy look bad at moments, but then he comes back and puts one right down the chimney. Yeah, it looked to be a little bit of an assignment break there on, on Middle's defense. Back to throw Ivy. Throws it out there. Broken up. Nearly intercepted. Jeremy Cottrell went ball hawking there and nearly came up with one. There he is. He read that perfectly. He was just great. Painted. Got out of it and nearly made an interception. If he'd gotten that one, he may have taken it back. It's a cage of quickness from Cottrell. Second down. 10 yards to go at the 50. Back to throw is Ivy. Looks. Throws down the left sideline. Got a man there. Called for a touchdown. Dan Williams beat Cottrell down the left sideline. Cottrell was looking over his shoulder trying to think about the play and forgot about the receivers. Yeah, they, they went back to that stop and go and they took advantage of the great play Cottrell made on the play earlier where he was able to come out of his break. He did it again there, but the receiver stopped, continued to go, and he, he just never had a chance of catching up. So Ivy connects with Dan Williams, and that has been a popular combination for Jackson State over the years. 21-13,
On for the point. Ryan Deasing. His kick is up and it is good. So with 8-10 to go here in the second quarter, the new score, middle 21, and Jackson State 14. We will not take a break, but we will pause 10 seconds for station identification as you listen to the Blue Raider Network from Learfield Sports. Walkers and Dennis Burke coming to you from the Ford of Purpose World Broadcast Center. By top Floyd Stadium on a warm September 9th. Little Tennessee leading 21-14 over Jackson State. And quite honestly, a defensive breakdown there and a big play. Two big plays. Yeah. A 35-yarder and a 50-yarder put Jackson State in the end zone. Yeah, you can't give up those big plays like that. That, that series had two of them. And it's tough on a defense for the Cowboys. Four plays, 90 yards, 115 off the clock. Here's a short kick taken at the eight-yard line by Bryson. 25, 30, Bryson upfield, 35, still on his feet to the 40. On the stop for Jackson State, Terry Harper. And the Raiders will have it. First and 10 at the... 40-yard line, and good field position with 8.01 to go, and Jeremiah Bryson may have found a home in that kickoff return team. Yeah, exactly, and that you like to see the special teams right now. I think Middle's winning that battle, and that's big in the first game of the season. First and 10. Tucker, the running back, stops the throws. Near side, caught, and out of bounds, Collis on the reception for a yard and a half. Actually, two yards to the 42-yard line. Second down and eight at the 42. We still have not seen Austin Grammer in the game yet. But Stockton has directed three touchdown drives. Going to be an offside for the three plays for Brent Stockton. Throws it downfield. It's going to be caught. Down at the 38-yard line. That's going to count. And will be a catch because it was a there's a flag on the field. It's gonna be probably be a an offside to get Jackson State. So the way he's got advantage. Keep it from the 44. Comes in nine. He's got the play the first down. That's gonna be a 20-yard pickup. First and ten at the 38-yard line. Stock will throw for 160 yards here in the first half. First and 10 at the 38-yard line of Jackson State. Fullhouse backfield out of the pistol. 